Here is the battery pack that you've already seen. Here's our DC to AC and back converter. Here's a generating motor, the small generating motor, the large traction motor. Here is the uh, planetary gear set on the output, the final drive gearing, and the differential, the wheels of the car would be out here. And here's the internal combustion engine. We then also have the three clutches here between the engine and the generator, here between the ring gear of the planetary, <coughs> and um, the case, which basically we can <coughs> hold this still. This clutch is an enabler to hold the ring gear still. And then we have this clutch where we could uh, connect the generator to the ring gear of the planetary. Okay, next chart please. All right, so now we're in electric driving again. So we're using the battery between here and here. That, that's the space, that's the type of operation that um, this example illustrates. And we have one motor electric driving. So okay, with one motor electric driving, just as you would expect, we're pulling energy um, from the battery through the inverter to the traction motor. We have to hold the ring gear of this planetary still so that we can actually transmit torque um, to this output. And um, ultimately, with this gear ratio and the final <coughs> drive gear ratio, we have about a 7 to 1 gear reduction between um, the motor to the wheels. And, you know, all this time, obviously, the engine's off. This is great, very efficient, very effective. You could drive the car. You could do that wide open throttle acceleration up to 100 miles an hour. The issue is it becomes fairly inefficient at higher speeds. So we've got some choices. You know, we could do nothing, which we don't think is a very good uh, customer satisfier. Um, we could add a two-speed gearbox, which some have tried. Um, works fine, but me as the powertrain person, that's just another, that's a shift I have to manage. That's another disturbance, you know, that will have to happen during your driving of the car, and I'd prefer not to. So in fact, we think we have a very elegant and clever solution where, so all this time, this generator motor has been going along for the ride, and so why not use it? And this is something that, um, you know, again, we think was uh, pretty clever, and what we're, what we're able to do now is we take this generator motor and we attach it to the ring gear, we, we stop holding the ring gear stationary, and now we have these two motors turning in tandem to drive the car, we're able to significantly reduce the overall speed of the traction motor and ultimately gain efficiency. This is, um, so this situation will get you probably a couple more miles of electric range on the highway and that's why we do it. It's all about efficiency and getting the customer, you know, the most electric experience that we can. And we call that two motor high speed driving. Okay, so that takes us through two modes of electric driving. We have a choice. We always choose, number one, a mode that will deliver the torque required for the customer's demand, but deliver it as efficiently as possible. So now we're going to transition to extended range driving. Okay, so we just got through depleting that battery down to the minimum. We call it the buffer, and the buffer represents the minimum amount of electricity to drive the car. So at this point, we're at the buffer. Um, the internal combustion engine will automatically realize that it will come on. I hope you all tell me it's transparent because um, Lane works really hard at making that transparent. <laughs> so uh, the engine will start and, um, and it will work to maintain this battery buffer. So okay, when I say that, how do we do that? Next slide please. Okay, this story is going to be very similar to what we just went through with electric driving. So in extended range, we're going to have one motor. Series would be the, the uh, on paper, the, the hookup, the kinematic hookup that we're talking about. Um, personally, I think the car behaves so much um, more refined than series. I hate to use that name, that whole, you know, leading with the battery EV in a typical series. You know, you're going to get the engine on pretty much in instantaneously. But we'll call this a one motor series hookup. And the picture is just as you would suspect. We have battery energy. We pull that battery energy through the inverter to the big traction motor, connected to the output to the final gear ratio. We have to hold the ring gear so that we're able to transmit torque um, out of this, uh, uh, this planetary. At the same time, we have now engaged this clutch. So now the internal combustion engine and the generator motor are connected, and they are, and this generator motor is making electricity, putting, pushing it through the inverter and back into the battery pack. So
So as you're driving, as you have to draw down, draw down energy from that pack, we will replenish that buffer so you can keep driving. Works great. We'll drive the car up to 100 miles an hour. You can accelerate wide open throttle. Um, this could be our only mode of operation for um, extended range driving. Same problem that we just talked about with um, electric driving. At some point it becomes very inefficient. And so we think we have a pretty um, uh, clever, elegant way to utilize the parts that we have in this drive unit to significantly improve the efficiency at cruising type conditions. And I pick cruising specifically because, you know, I've, I've read some of the uh, articles some others have wrote and they talk a lot about this, you know, something happening at 70 miles an hour. It's not about 70 miles an hour. It's about the notion of there is a, uh, road, a steady state road load horsepower demand that, um, uh, I might have gotten ahead of myself here. <laughs> it's about um, uh, a road load horsepower steady state demand that we can um, deliver um, that doesn't require the capability of this arrangement. This arrangement has um, a whole lot of torque capability. So then let's go to the two speed, um, two speed combined driving. Okay, so we could have been in that one, one motor series mode. Um, higher speeds, not very effective. If you're cruising steady state, road load kind of conditions, now we have the ability, now we have the ability to reconfigure the clutches, where in this case we will, um, we still have the engine connected to the generator motor, and now we're able to connect that generator motor to the ring gear, release the ring gear uh, from the stationary hold that we have. At the same time, we can provide power through the traction motor to the output of the planetary. The fact that we're you know, reacting here, we can drive um, the wheels uh, through this seven to one gear reduction. And in this configuration, you know, why is this so important? This is so important because this is a 10 to 15% efficiency improvement. I mean, this was a big lever for us to ultimately get a lot more efficiency out of the car in range extending mode. So, you know, so you've just heard me go through this, whether you're in electric mode or, or range extending, the story is the same. We can have two different configurations, um, all, uh, all capable, but when we have a choice to be more efficient, we choose to make we choose to make that selection.